Easter is the celebration of Jesus' triumph over death. Do not be afraid. The Gospel of Mark says, He has risen. He is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. Pope Francis says, To go to Galilee means to begin anew. It means to start again from where we began. The message of Easter is, it is always possible to begin anew because there is always a new life that God can awaken in us in spite of all our failures. By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard a voice, but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias Come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And there he has authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before the Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel, and I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house, laying his hands on him. He said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me, Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues that he is the Son of God. Responsorial Psalm Go to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify Him, all your peoples. 
Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen. I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things, he said, while teaching in the synagogues in Capernaum. Why did Jesus offer himself as food and drink? The Jews were scandalized and the disciples were divided when Jesus said, Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. What a hard saying, unless you understand who Jesus is and why he calls himself the bread of life. The miracle of the multiplication of the loaves, when Jesus said the blessing, broke and distributed the loaves through his disciples to feed the multitude, is a sign that prefigured the superabundance of the unique bread of the Eucharist, or Lord's Supper. The Gospel of John has no account of the Last Supper meal, just the foot-washing ceremony and Jesus' farewell discourse. Instead, John quotes extensively from Jesus' teaching on the bread of life. In the Old Covenant, bread and wine were offered in a thanksgiving sacrifice as a sign of grateful acknowledgement to the Creator as the giver and sustainer of life. Melchizedek, who was both a priest and king, offered a sacrifice of bread and wine. His offering prefigured the offering made by Jesus, our high priest and king. The remembrance of the manna in the wilderness recalled to the people of Israel that they live, not by earthly bread alone, but by the bread of the word of God. Jesus chose the time of the Jewish feast of Passover to fulfill what had announced at Capernaum, giving his disciples his body and his blood as the true bread of heaven. Jesus passing over to his Father by his death and resurrection, the new Passover, is anticipated in the Last Supper and celebrated in the Eucharist or Lord's Supper, which fulfills the Jewish Passover and anticipates the final Passover of the Church in the glory of God's kingdom. When the Lord Jesus commands his disciples to eat his flesh and drink his blood, he invites us to take his life into the very center of our being. That life which he offers is the very life of God himself. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you nourish and sustain us with your very own presence and life-giving word. You are the bread of life, the heavenly food that sustains us now 
and that produces everlasting life within us. May I always hunger for you and be satisfied in you alone. Amen.